Well, greetings from fantastic China. I'm in Shenzhen, which is not far off the border of Hong Kong, and it's just uh, such a clean, well-planned out city. I've pretty much gone from two star in Hong Kong to five star here in, uh, in Shenzhen. Had a fantastic day yesterday at the factory. Great meetings, the people are fantastic. We went out for seafood last night. I'll do some overlay of, of some of the seafood we had there last night. But the, um, the hotel that I'm, I'm currently staying in is the Hilton, which is right behind me here. And um, I'm in a beautiful parkland, lots of sports facilities. I was watching last night, so many people getting involved with the sporting fields and tennis over the back here. And people just out and about. But what my, I guess for me, driving around yesterday is seeing how clean this place is, seeing how well thought out the whole, uh, the whole city is. So I came here in 2004 and it seemed quite small by comparison to today. I think there's um, about 15 million people here in Shenzhen. So it's, you know, it's not far off the whole population of Australia, really. But Shenzhen is just one of the big cities. Uh, a lot of industry here. Uh, and it's interesting how compact the industry is, like going to the factory yesterday and seeing the testing of the ABD2 scanners and talking to the guys. And uh, it, just, it was just a brilliant day for me. Um, I came here in 2004 to the Waco factories and had a look at the Waco fridges getting made, which was kind of cool. Uh, extremely humid and hot. Uh, when I turned the camera on, it all fogged up. Um, I wondered what's going on, but it was actually the humidity, the heat, um, it's about uh, 8 o'clock in the morning now, I've had brekkie and uh, it's hot, it's really really hot, I can feel it. But yeah, very well thought out uh, city, the metro train's going over the top at the moment and you know talking to Elena from Autofix yesterday, um, her and her husband and her little boy, they live in one of these high rises and um, it's quite compact living, everyone relies on public transport here. So. Um, it's uh, quite an amazing city, uh, China in its own right. I'm completely cut off from social media at the moment, so I have no Facebook, no Instagram, no TikTok. I've got nothing, nothing at all. Um, been contacting home via email. Um, there is WeChat, but uh, I don't have many people on WeChat, and that sun's really bright on this side. But yeah, this is um, this is Shenzhen. So I'll try and do another. I'm going to have a look at the workshops, the, the auto fix workshops this morning. And um, I head back to Hong Kong tonight, but uh, yeah, this is Hong. This is not Hong Kong. This is Shenzhen. There's a train going over the top there. Um, I hope um, I can footage and some insight into an amazing country, a well thought out, progressive country. So yeah, this is Trev in China. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, well it's really really hot and um, it's super humid but I'm about to leave China and go back to Hong Kong. I'm at the North Shenzhen station, the train station and there's lots of people around so I've got the lovely Alina from Autofix here to help me out because she speaks Chinese and I obviously don't. But this will complete our China part of our videos. We'll do a little bit more in Hong Kong over the weekend. But for here, this is my finish up at Autofix had a great meetings here the people are fantastic we've got a great relationship and i'm looking forward to all the future things i've got some great samples in the bag um, this will complete our china part of our our video and um see all you guys when i get back into australia cheers 
Well, I'm at Aberdeen um, on the other side of Hong Kong Island and um, here with my old mate here, the fisherman. Um, this is a spectacular part. I'm not exactly where I want it to be, but it's just good kind of exploring because I've not been to this area before. It's pretty cool. Lots of boats. I just did a boat. Once again, I've mentioned the octopus card over and over. Even on the boats around here, around the harbour, you can use your octopus card. So it makes everything really, really simple. There's a couple of ambulances going past, very quiet. Don't know whether you'll pick that up. But I'm going to keep walking along here, just having a look around. Um, I'm enjoying it. This is my pretty much my last full day. And um, I fly back to Melbourne tomorrow, so I just wanted to capture a little bit of Hong Kong. Uh, go to places I haven't been, because I've been to Hong Kong quite a few times. So it's good just to explore and see other parts. Right. As I walk along here, it's really, really cool because you can see the fishermen have um, just arrived back. And um, I saw back there some fish. He was cutting them, getting them all ready. Um, he had bags and stuff there, so I guess the locals can come, buy the fresh fish um, direct off the back of the boat. Um, you can see some lady over there with a big fish. Um, it's pretty cool just exploring stuff that people don't usually have a look at. You know, I've never walked along here and experienced it all. Um, pretty mad. Uh, sorry about my wobbly hands, but I'm using a big camera on a, on a selfie stick, so it's a bit harder to do. But um, yeah, this is a good experience. Boats we got here, Jackie Chan, Donnie Yen. These are the floating restaurants here. I think they're closed now. I remember going on the jumbo 20 years ago. But I believe the jumbo's gone. I don't think that was jumbo. Over on the um, over on the headland directly in front you can see parts of Ocean Park. Ocean Park is probably one of my favourite uh, amusement parks in the world and I've been to lots. Um, they've got lots and lots of different roller coasters, one right up on the top of the hill and uh, I really really enjoy that park but I decided not to go today because it just looked really busy and I thought I'll come down to Aberdeen and and um, we we'll kind of explore down here, which is kind of nice. I was just asking my lovely guide about some of the boats that have got flowers on it. And today is Punyang birthday. You may need fish and bowl, you may need the plants, you the fruit, the Punyang for Pula. One thing I've noticed with Hong Kong and, and even uh, Shenzhen, but Shenzhen's a very new city, everything is really clean. Um, I noticed uh, a boat through the harbour earlier, uh, pollution control. I know when I went on the, on the harbour here in 2004 and Jumbo Restaurant went for dinner there one night, and um, there's a little bit of rubbish in the water here, but gee, nothing compared to what it was 20 years ago, all around the boats, there was just rubbish so I think they're making a really concerted effort to make everything clean here and you can tell it's an older city with a lot of newer buildings obviously but they're trying really hard to keep a lid on it or keep the rubbish there's plenty of bins around all recycle bins I've got to work out which boat I want to go to Aberdeen from here 
So I've got to figure out which boat I'm going to go on. This is where the language part of it comes into it. But I'll figure it out in a tick. It's quite cool in here. I've looked at other shops across the road. There's a bit of a supermarket. But this is uh, a typical market. We've got fruit and vegetable on the other side. You see the lady there, she's cutting up meat. Over here we've got fish by the looks of it. So you can pick out the fish you want. Or turtle. If you're squirmish, this is not going to be for you. Although I've done a, quite a bit of touristy stuff today, it's really good to get off the beaten track and come across places like this where it's raw, it's Hong Kong, it's not touristy, there's no uh, white people like myself here, it's, it's very, very raw. Um, it's, it's such a cool thing to experience. I did this in 2004 too, when I was here on my own. I just went and explored the tracks less traveled in places where there just wasn't um, a Caucasian person in sight. So it's quite cool in here which is good but this is your typical market. I'm heading up to the top of Victoria Peak and uh, thought I'd jump in a taxi for this one. I wasn't going to catch the, uh, the tourist tram up to the top which is still really good fun. So we're going to Hong Kong do the tourist tram to the top. It's, super steep, super fun, um, but I just want to go up there, um, I'm going to have lunch, just cruise for the afternoon and then stay for the nighttime visual of the light show, so uh, they're just in the taxi, heading off and it uh, should be a fun afternoon. I'm looking forward to hopefully having lunch at Bubba Gump's, my favourite restaurant in the world. Alright, here we go. See the back of the island here. Lots of islands surrounding Hong Kong. It's quite mountainous. I decided to catch a taxi up to the top. I've caught the tram many times and it's fun. But I thought, hmm, I'll try something different. It cost me $72 Hong Kong from Wong Chai MTR to the top here to the taxi rack. And I'll go over here later on. I'm going to get some lunch. But this is Victoria Peak. This is the famous. After a wicked lunch at the Gums, um, I've come right up to the top of Victoria Peak. I've um, I did a live on Facebook before, but I'll, um, I'll wait up here till it gets dark because behind me here, behind me here is Hong Kong, and we're on Hong Kong Island, we're at the top of Victoria Peak. 
so I'll try and capture tonight all the lights show over the harbour. Uh, one I see building was fantastic. I was here in 2018, so I have captured it. Um, it is really, really cool. So we'll have a look at it a little bit later. But here I am, Hong Kong, Victoria. Peak. Well, I'm going to call it a day. I'm still at, the, at Victoria Peak. It was really busy up the top, so super noisy. But the visual was fantastic. There's been a, um, a cloud sort of hovering around, threatening to kill the, kill the vibe. But no, it's super clear. And uh, the light show's going on in the buildings and looks really good. There are lots and lots and lots of people waiting to go on the tram i'm gonna go down on the taxi um, the tram will take ages and ages and ages there's, there's there's thousands of people so i think um we'll say goodbye to victoria peak and we'll call an end to this part of the video this part of the video it's been a really good day and uh, I'm going to cruise back. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for indulging me today. It's been a good day. Thank you.